Hey YouTube, um, it's Alex again, back for another video. Uh, I just wanted to talk about the whole Office 08, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Entourage. And I may go into acquisition and newsfire if I have time. Okay, so to start with, Office 08 opens extremely slow. I don't know about anybody else, but for me, it opens ridiculously slow. And I'll just give you a little demo here right now. And I, it just, it seems slower to me than Word 04. That'll step there for a little bit, and then once the whole Word page opens up, it's unresponsive for a bit, and then and then it comes up after the rainbow circle. Yeah, so now it's working. Let me just show you Word 04 coming from my time machine drive here. Now remember this is running this is a 320 gig Western digital hard drive uh, via Firewire. So it's not going to be as quick as it would if it was running on the internal hard drive, but it's still pretty quick. And as you can see, we're already at the product project gallery, and you know, I can just open and bam, there we go. So on a normal day, Word would open a whole lot slower, but since I haven't restarted my computer in quite a quite a while, it's opening pretty quickly. Now the Excel, PowerPoint, Entourage, they, they all open about the same speed. Once you've opened one, it doesn't matter which one out of the entire suite, they all open. I guess Mac OS X, you know, caches a whole lot of the information. Alright, so now I guess I'll go into Acquisition and Newsfire. I'm, I'm not sure if a lot of people know about Acquisition. I've known about it for a little bit now. But it's basically like a LimeWire type thing with a better user interface. U user interface. Okay, and it's gonna you know scream at me. You're unregistered, but you can use it. Being unregistered, it just captures speed in an hour. And really, who's on LimeWire or something like this for longer than an hour? Oh, and it also ignores search results randomly, and you'll see that you know as we go. As I showed you how to use it. Okay, so let's search for something. We'll do Nothing Lasts Forever by Maroon 5. And as you can see, as you type, it brings up stuff, you know, so you can just click it. And it'll search. And down here where it says connected, it's connected to five different line wire type. Things. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but it's connected to them. And but as you can see, their search results aren't exactly that great. I get a whole lot better search results with LimeWire, but I like the user interface better with acquisition, and I almost feel that it's worth the. Let's see, it's like fifteen or twenty dollars to buy it, just because it's so much cleaner. It looks much more Mac-like. And then you can just double click to download. And it'll show up here. You can click downloads. And it'll show. And it tells you the speed that you're getting. And I'm currently connected to four people, five people. And I'm getting over a hundred. Wow. And then you can just click the play. And as you can see, you can preview it right in here. And with the preferences, as soon as it's finished downloading, it automatically adds it to iTunes. So it's it's pretty good. I like it. It's quick. You know, it's it's just a whole lot cleaner than LimeWire. LimeWire is just complicated. This you just type it in. You know, it gives you most of the time it comes up what you want, and then you click it. It searches. You download. You're good. All right. So now 
I'm going to go into Newsfire, which is another application created by the same person that did acquisition. I'm not exactly sure what his name is, but anyways. So the default ones that comes up are, you know, the Apple Hot News, the BBC News, CBC News, Dig, and then the DW Blog. One of my favorites is the Dig. And you, as you can see, it tells you how many new ones you have that haven't been read. So here's all the ones off Dig that I haven't read, and all of them are new because I haven't been on here in a couple days. So you click on one, and it'll take you to this, give you a little summary, and then if you'd like to go to it, you just click this link, and as you can see, it opens up Safari behind it, so you don't have to stop what you're doing. You can just keep, you know, keep going through it. We can go over here to Apple Hot News, click this one, and it'll open it in a new tab. So I think that's great that it opens it up behind it. And then you can turn that off. It is a preference. But we'll minimize this. And it opens it up uh, to the dig page. You read comments and everything. Let's see. And this is basically an RSS feed program that brings it all together into one application where you can, you know, get all your RSS feeds that you subscribe to in one location and read them. You know, it's much more organized than just going to different things. I think Safari has a um, RSS reader, but I'm not really sure how it works, so I use this. So that's that. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this screencast and um, using ScreenFlow. And it should be on YouTube pretty soon. Uh, as usual, if you like the video, comment, rate, um, video response, whatever. And look forward to seeing you next video. Thanks again.